If you find yourself in the position where you or the company you work for has a client that goes against your morals, should you stay on the account or do you take a stand? Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jenny Famularcano. Welcome to my channel where I help creative professionals organize your ideas into work that flows. I have been working as a graphic designer for years. From working with clients, I've only learned more about the kind of designer that I want to be. Just as a disclaimer, these thoughts and opinions are completely my own and deciding whether or not you want to take on a client is completely up to you. For example, there was one client that I had a particular difficult time with. It was a large company and the culture that they had actually changed the way that we approach design and they were met with their own level of controversy. I stayed on this account for our team and we focused on serving our client and what we can do for their community. What came out of it was actually a better project than I might have anticipated and I'm very happy with the outcome as well. They were able to get all of the assets, we were able to complete the project. I feel closer to my team for that experience because it was with a team that I know that I leaned on for support and that I was transparent with and I communicated with and we were able to get closer together because of that. One of the tips that I recommend is that you don't need to be best friends with every client that you have. That could be something that we would like to aim for but I don't think that is necessary in order to have a good working relationship with someone. Sometimes it's just a working relationship and we might have disagreements in different places. But no, you do not have to be best friends with your client in order to work effectively. Another suggestion that I have is if you are working on a team, do your best to work as objectively as possible so you're not getting too invested emotionally into the results of a project. If you are working independently, it's best to focus on your goals and fulfill whatever commitments in order to complete the work. The other option you can take is refusing the assignment. Does your company have an opt-out policy? Can you approach your boss or your director with your concerns and let them know that you're not feeling comfortable to move forward on a project? One of the concerns that you might have about doing this is that it might limit your opportunities with this company. But if this is an issue that is really important to you, would you want to maintain your position at a company that doesn't align with your own values? By taking a stand, you're going to learn more about what your values are. And that's going to continue for your whole career. It's not going to stop. When you take a stand for something that's important to you, you inspire your peers to take a stand for what they believe in also. For example, I had one client that I was really excited to work with, but I learned really fast that the experience was not what I had expected. I was disappointed in the relationship. Instead of being on the hook with the company, I decided to reach out and inform them of the definitive end for the project. I provided all of the files that they would need in order to move forward without me. And that was, a de that was a decision that I made to reach out and do that. I just didn't want to be on the hook for more because I wasn't sure what would happen next. Don't be afraid to tell people no. This opens you up for the opportunities that you truly do believe in. Your career will be long and there will be so many decisions similar to this one that you will be facing but you ultimately will be the one who gets to decide whether or not you want to work on a project. Decide on what you believe in and what you can compromise on early in your career so that you can work with integrity. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for all of February where we're going to be talking about communicating in your graphic design career. I will see you in the next video. Oh, I'm off center. <laughs>